Greetings, everybody. Rodaman here. Thank you for tuning in to Stationers Europa, episode 19. Before I start, I wanted to mention one thing, which is that I enabled a double uh, or yield mod just so that this finale won't be a mining stream. A lot of the uh, uh, mods that allow you to increase your ore yield are kind of broken, so it took me a while to find one that worked, but all it does is just double what you get back. So before we kick off, let me uh, recap for a minute. Uh, I guess I need to poke around the base here. So the last things we were working on here, we set up our little refrigerator, which will almost never see use. Oh, look, that's a... S oh, yeah, no, that is technically a soybean and potato. Or pumpkin, rather. Uh, so our little refrigerator, and then our food processing, whatever it's called. Some atmospherics that we built for reasons I don't understand, because honestly, I'm not really going to use the atmospherics. We've got our tiny solar array. Very modest. I like it, though. And then the last big project was the remote power down to an elevator shaft working on the penthouse, which I am going to continue working on now. But I'm also going to give you guys the opportunity to overrule me and have me work on other things if you want. Uh, I don't know if the penthouse is the final project that you were hoping for, so if it isn't, uh, you will have a chance to suggest other things as well. And yeah, that about wraps it up. So let's, uh, let's figure out exactly where we left off on that penthouse elevator. Because it was hard to tell exactly. We were in the middle of a European storm. Will I ever do advanced playthrough using ICs? I have already multiple times. That's why I'm not doing it now. Um, in the past, I've done a Mars and a Venus playthrough, both incorporating integrated circuitry code. And that's why I didn't think it was necessary to do it for a third stream and a third series, because I've already covered that. So, it's on uh, YouTube if you want it. So this is the power send, or power receiver. Power send was over there. And then the start of a micro elevator shaft. Which, one of it which will require a whole lot of elevator shaft pieces and then cables in order to hook it up. But this is where we left off. And then this thing eventually will lead to the penthouse and what I would like to do is to set it up so that this entire tunnel is pressurized, perhaps. But um, whether I do that or not will be left up to you, as per the usual. I think this area is pressurized, right? Yeah, there's no holes in here. In fact, I could just grab my... Well, my tablet wouldn't have this be a room because the top of the elevator shaft reveals up to space. So that uh, actually checks out. So first thing I need to do is to get a little bit of, um, well, not a little bit, a lot of bit of copper in order to continue to make the elevator uh, structures. Come on, door. I do find it hilarious that the base is so nice and toasty on Europa. All right, topping up water and food, and then I'll go mining. And it looks like I'm going to have a little bit of daytime doing mining, which is nice. So I know I need a whole lot of copper uh, because all of the cabling for that elevator shaft is going to be like probably in the range of like 150 to 200 cables, maybe more. I'm not sure how high it goes, but it goes pretty high. So uh, that will be one of the first things that we do is to uh, to get all that copper. And then the rest of the elevator shafts we need to do as well. So elevator, uh -huh, that's not going to work. Elevator kits, gold, copper, steel, solder. Uh, likely we're going to need to do another batch of solder, more batches of steel, and a lot of gold as well, so it's relatively expensive, but the 2x mining yield uh, should help a little bit. One thing that I do know is I've been mining the heck out of the local environment, so if I do want to get some resources, I have to travel a little bit further.
but the 2x here is going to help out a lot. So this is a some coal for a batch of steel. I'll get uh, I'll get a hundred of it. Done. I'm gonna throw this out because I don't need it. scrap. Oh, I should have emptied my backpack. Don't bummer. You like the new RimWorld series? Well, thanks. And well, thanks for tuning into this one too. All right, so we did mention that we need some gold. Um, it's four gold per elevator. We're gonna need, I don't know, quite a few elevators. So let's say 150 gold. We're gonna need more iron than I even have like space for, for the the steel. But we'll, we'll try to make short work of it. All right, there's the gold. Hey you. That was Effie. Go for iron, I guess. And then once I'm done mining, I'm gonna pull you all, um, given a little bit of time for people to like filter in at the start on whether you want me to continue this project or not. Cause if not, I'll have a lot of resources to be able to do other projects. What is going on with all this? Uh, all this iron, all the iron that I'm mining up is like damaged. It won't make damaged uh, steel. So one, one, two, three, one. Okay, uh, let's top up that last stack and we'll be all set. All right, done. And I have basically no room left. So I'm gonna get a batch of steel going and then I'll start copper mining again. And cheers. So for steel, let's do six vols and three ice. Look at me. I'm like a fire and water bender. Whee! Storm lights are still green, so I'm fine on that front. Vents are off, and... Boom. There we go. One, two, three, four, five... Come on. Six. Thank you for the bits, Glitch. I appreciate the luck. Hopefully I won't need it. All right, just waiting for everything to process. We are in space. Well, sort of. If I float it up far enough. Depends on how you define space. Oh no. Is it not hot enough? It must not be hot enough. That is just darn right tragic. I'll try to feed a little more... Uh, explosives into it. Maybe not in the right ratio. Come on now. There we go. It worked! Alright, next up, the gold. I meant for this to be in one stack, so I'll just reprocess it. So, just a little reminder, 
gold, copper, steel, solder. So solder will be lead. Steel I've managed, and then copper we need to go find. Alright, that's the gold. I'm going to put this stuff away quickly so that I have a little bit more room to do mining. Maybe switch up my batteries. And given that it has been 10 minutes, should I keep working on the penthouse or do something else? I'll have you vote on that in just a second. I'm not putting things away where they belong. I'm just trying to go quickly. I don't even need my network analyzer. All right, back out we go. So here's that poll. And the timer's up. And yeah, if you want to see me do something else, something that you all pr propose, that's fine too. So feel free to provide your input. So output is this one. That should be venting out. Oops. There we go. That should be venting out the, the chamber so that I can smelt with a fresh... Let's go find, before I lose daylight, some copper. And lead, if I can help it. And Daydora, thank you for the resub, and welcome to you. Alright, uh, uranium. I wonder why they're even including uranium into the, uh, into what renders on a planet makes very little sense to me. There's a bunch of cobalt. Don't really need it, but, uh... Come on. Lead or copper? Nickel, iron... There's copper in here. This way. There it is. Not sure how much I'm going to need, but I I know I'm going to want more than I'm going to mine. There's a lot of other resources here that I don't mean to be picking up. And it might seem crazy, but I, I might just drop them for space. Yoink, 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 yoink. Well, you know what? I actually need the iron for lead. So I'll, I'll keep the iron. So that's uh, 100, 200, 300 copper. That's actually not a bad, uh, not a bad grab. Do a little bit more. I'm greedy. What can I say? No, that's not what I meant to drop. Give it that back. All right, so now I have a little bit of space. Hey, Big C Panda, for uh, gifting out subs, and then also Walter with the resub. You glad I'm back on the chilly moon? Thanks. I, I too am glad. I'm glad to be wrapping it up for sure. Give you guys a little bit of um closure, if I can. So where's my home? By jetpack up, I should see some blinkies. There it is. So, cheers to you all. Oh, and let me enable the Yoda cam. There we go. Hey, Arkrune, thanks for the gifted subs as well. Right on, man. Right on. This European base brought to you by the very fine members of the community. And it just keeps going. Daytora as well. <laughs> Thank you all. I uh, I never really know what to say, but, but cheers. 
All right, there's a little bit of plumbum down here. Probably not going to be enough to make what I'm after. There's also silver. Uh, to be honest, it would be really wise to grab the silver because if I recall, my electrum amount is like real bad. And uh, silver's often hard to find, so if I have the chance to get some silver, I should take it. So I need uh, 33 more lead in order to make a full stack of uh, solder. I hate to be going after like single nodes like this, but I might not have another choice. With the 2x mining mod that I've got enabled, it's not so bad. Sunlight Reaper, 10 months already? If you say so, that sounds... Time flies for me, too. I don't really understand where it goes. I feel like I just started streaming yesterday, and that is so far from the truth. But I guess when you're having fun, you know? It just goes quick. Whoa, I got a lot of volatiles. Um, I'm a little worried about, like, losing where my base is. Come on. Why isn't there more lead? Isn't there... I for actually forget the... Oh, there we go. Here's a giant note of lead. More than I need. Done. So that's all the lead and the... The lead and the uh, copper that I think I'm going to need for this. At least the elevator part of the project. Once it gets up to the penthouse, that's going to require a different subset of materials, I think. I never leave space for... Oh boy, where am I? I never leave space for my... um uh, For the tracking beacon cartridge. Uh, because... You have very limited amount of, like, pockets in the game. But this is why you should. Because, uh... I'm just floating around... Up top with no concept as to where I am. I do know that I live on the edge of a giant mountain, so maybe if I just go up, <laughs> I'll find home. Ah, uh, this isn't the mountain. Another good pro- uh, another interesting project could be setting up like a mega light at the top of the penthouse, but once the penthouse is built, it'll be easy to, um... It'll be easy to find home. Yeah, rendering definitely doesn't help. You're right about that. This... A lot. There's a ton of performance games on the beta branch that I'm not playing because the beta branch is not exactly stable. But the frame rate's a lot better and the render range and there's just a lot of other like quality of life improvements on the beta branch that uh, that means that like maybe in I don't want to slap a time frame on it, but like maybe in uh, in a few months' time, Stationers is going to be a lot more play playable for a lot more people. So right now it, it runs like sludge and it's pretty buggy. There's so many features that just should honestly be carved out of the game, like because they don't serve a purpose until they're fixed. Like Amy's, for instance, or or the ogre. The ogre doesn't really do anything. It makes a big hole. Um Well, I'm just wandering lost. I think probably what I should... Oh, yeah, there's home. I found it. My instincts were correct. I'm like a... Uh, a seabird. Always able to find home, no matter what. Just funny, it's nighttime and the song playing is called Dusk. Now, if you don't have a good sense of direction, you can install the permanent beacon and then carry the tracking tablet with you so that it always points home. That would be the smart, responsible thing to do. And thanks for the hype train, guys. Alright, let's get cooking. 
probably just do the giant batch of copper first. Uh, but ore doesn't go in before. So let's go with eight balls and four oxide. There it is. I cannot navigate from the stars because the star map uh, is not navigatable. There is no, like, north star as far as I know. It's just dots. Arbitrary random dots. It'd be really cool if there was a way to do, like, uh, that kind of navigation, but obviously there isn't. Or not obviously, but just there isn't. Come on, stay hot, stay hot. Man, I didn't realize that I needed to, like, add even more volatiles than I have been. Oops. It wasn't done processing. Oh, well. Alright. Uh, next up is the lead. Or solder. So solder is a low temp. So it's kind of fine that it's uh, losing temp, I guess. Still too hot? What temperature is that in there? So solder max is out at 277C. So what I'm going to do is pull some air out and shove some air in to cool it down. So I'm, I'm putting in European air, which is cold, and pulling out the furnace air, which is hot. No, I didn't actually turn that on. And you should see the temperature drop so that I can make solder pretty easily. Oh, there is a dramatic drop. Oh, I made it too cold. I think. No, it should be right. Yeah, it's correct. All right, solder's done. Let's get elevatoring. Now that my power is low and my batteries are, or my water's low. I'm sort of curious. Does anyone like the food and water ratios in the game? Like, do you guys actually think that the amount of water that you have to consume and the amount of food that you have to eat, like, make sense? Is it just me, or, like, does it seem... silly? Maybe. Best way I could put it. So the elevator is also on the electronics printer, I think. So I guess all this stuff is going in there. Let's made the great cabling begin. <laughs> the whole food system is bad. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. I feel like it's all shoehorned in to increase the challenge. 
Like, one of the things that I think bother the most people is the fact that um, vacuuming food doesn't keep it fresh, which vacuum seal food in real life, or like nitrogen gas vacuum seal uh, food in real life is like the, the gold standard or platinum standard of keeping food good. And in this game, it's like, nope, nope, no, it doesn't. It ruins it faster. And it's like, um, you only have that as a game mechanic because challenge, right? Like, it's so very easy in in the game to, to create a vacuum. Whereas in real life, creating a vacuum is somewhat challenging, especially a, a large vacuum. Like a vacuum room, very, very challenging. So I feel like just for the challenge of the game, they made like vacuums ruin food. And it's like, what? It's like, that, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, freeze drying food works best. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like the whole food system was sort of shoehorned in as a bad concept, and then they they doubled down on it, and it hasn't. It, it isn't good, and probably won't be, unless the the CEO of the company gets his own um, head out of where the sun don't shine. Food lasts so long with water set low that growing isn't really all that necessary. Yeah, I mean, that's another issue is that, um, or another weirdness of the game, which is that, uh, food spoils within, like, minutes. I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but, like, it's very, very, very quick, and then you can it, and then it's like, okay, it's good forever. It's like, but the act of canning it wasn't that difficult, so, like, what gives? I don't get it. You're right. One of the main components of living on another planet is providing your hierarchy of needs. So for those of you that don't know the uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which is the, like, the theory of what motivates humans to survive or whatever, is the physiological needs come first, which is Air, water, food, sleep, shelter, clothing, reproduction. But, but you know, that would be the base level of, like, the bare minimum of what you would consider survival. And then um, the next tier up would be, which is less necessary for survival, but still part of survival, which would be safety needs, like personal safety, security, uh, health, and resources, that kind of thing. And then above that would be community, and above that would be sort of your your psychological needs. Healthy mind, healthy body, that kind of thing. But there are very, very few games, survival games out there that I say that I would say get your physiological Maslow's physiological needs well. This game does air pretty good, but not so much water or food. Uh, shelter, very good, actually. But sleep, clothing, that kind of stuff, doesn't really matter in this game. I mean, the clothing needs are, like, okay-ish, I guess. Why'd I come down here? I don't even have my elevators yet. Well, I'll put one elevator in, but, um, yeah, I sort of jumped the gun on that front. Yeah, I would say, in terms of the hierarchy of needs, it really depends on what environment you're in and how dangerous it is, right? So if you are in, like, if you're in a really dangerous environment in real life, your, um, your needs for shelter are going to be very important. Whereas, oh, that's not right. Uh, whereas, you know, if, if you're just, like, in the forest, some, you know, it, it really depends on how dangerous your environment is, so... For games like these, yeah, the hierarchy of needs for um, for shelter obviously are much greater than they would be on Earth. On Earth, you can get away with no shelter. What is going on? Why am I not allowed to build here? 
there's... What's what's your deal? What's your deal, ele elevator shaft? Why are you fussy? I don't know what's going on with this elevator shaft, but it seems cursed to me. Try breaking the one below it. I'm not sure what's going on. Wouldn't it be tedious to manage all those needs? Not if it was done right in terms of, like, gaming. Definitely not. I think I need to, like, delete all of it and start over. And I'm not sure why, but okay. You win, game. You win. Yeah, tear it all out and start over. I know. I don't know why, but it did seem to be the case. See if I can't place elevator shafts while in the ele oh, yeah, I can. All right, so let's go and print up a whole bunch of uh, elevator parts so that I can get myself up to the penthouse. Like one one could argue that um, for RimWorld, for instance, uh, air is sort of a given unless you have. Uh, extreme environments or toxic fallout or something like that, but RimWorld is a game that does the hierarchy of needs quite well. You know, food, water, shelter, sleep, clothing, reproduction as your base needs, and then security needs, and then community needs, and then self-actualization, mood needs. RimWorld completely follows the hierarchy of needs perfectly. Um, so yeah, it could be tedious. It really depends on how it's designed, but not all games design them poorly. Whereas uh, another game by this studio, Icarus, is a game that gets the hierarchy of needs completely wrong. Uh, and the game, I find, is insufferable and terrible, and I hate it. <laughs> so, yeah. It can be done well, it can be done poorly, and everything in between. I will try... 10 elevators and see how that gets me. But seeing that my ores in this electronics printer are in the like hundreds, multiple hundreds, that uh, that gives me a lot of comfort that I won't have to be mining for a while. Yeah, LOL Icarus. Oh my god. Blah, blah, blah. Not a lot of games give me the heebie-jeebies. That game is just insufferable. Sorry, it just is. You think the food and water is so fast given the day-night cycle? I can see that as a argument. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. All I know is it doesn't work. I'm, I'm you know, it, it's lazy of me, but I'm not proposing that I have a good solution. I just know that the, the way it is now is unfun, unrewarding, unchallenging, grindy, and 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 doesn't make for better gameplay. So let's say one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot more elevator shafts. I completely misinterpreted the demand here. What is the real day night cycle on Europa? I don't know, but like trying to mimic real day night cycles would be also very very tricky because some planets like Venus like almost don't have a day night cycle <laughs> like it's so slow that it would be um, it'd be very weird to play on on like a, a a proper day night cycle of Venus 85 hours but it's tidally locked yeah
I made my uh, avatar look like me? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, oh, that avatar? I guess. Yeah. I'm pretty low on propellant, aren't I? Oh, that's so much better. Yoink. I guess I should have checked that, like, my jetpack was the proper... Nope, it's not, but whatever. It, it, it's launch fuel. It's, so there might be some, um... I don't know, there's not even O2 in here? Yeah, don't be... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Nothing like accidentally turning the power off to your entire base. Oops. Alright, I'll go with uh, 20 more. Hopefully that gets me up there. If I have extra elevators, oh, big deal. We could have a have it go downwards or something. Hey, Marzen. I am well. How about yourself? I'm glad I got all the gold I got, because we went through a whole lot of gold. I'm also going to need to get another um, CO2 filter soon, because my CO2 filters are running low. I'm down to just one last filter. I have a question for you all while I'm uh, I'm setting this up. I opened up the viewer submitted ideas and let me update the goal here. Suggest features in the penthouse. So if you think if you have ideas for things for me to include in the penthouse, things that are reasonable for me to be able to do within one stream, not like something absurdly complicated, but if if you have um if you have nice ideas for what you want to see in the penthouse, like, I'll give you an example. A uh, refrigerator or food, or a sleeper pod, or just furniture, beds, etc. Like, stuff like that, uh, feel free to suggest it. The idea for this series was to create a little penthouse as a survival tourist destination, I guess? I'm not really sure. It's hard to come up with uh, end goals in a sandbox game, so I did my best. Oh, I think we're nearing the top here. Maybe two more? Yeah. Just two more? Not bad. It'll take me a minute to mine it all out. It's quite the elevator. I'm not sure if I've ever built an elevator shaft quite that uh, lofty. Two bedrooms, a kitchen, and a bathroom. <laughs> What's the rent in this little Europa Sky Needle? Or if it's built into a mountain, it's more of like a chateau. Chateau de Europa. Yeah, feel free to use channel points to uh, propose things that you think should belong up there. Salami Warrior and Dai Googles, thank you for the follows. I, I appreciate it. Strange names, but I appreciate it.
large speaker for looks. You know, I could have like a sort of a music thing going on in there if you want. Set myself up with like a little radio or I don't know, something like that. So after I have all the elevators set up, I have to wire them all up and then mine out the rest of the shaft so the it doesn't clip into the terrain. And then make sure to air seal it so that this tunnel here... Well, perhaps I'll have you vote on whether or not this tunnel becomes airtight. I don't... I'd be happy to do it. I don't know if you think it's necessary, but if you want it done, I can do it. You want me to build a fresh water pipe it'd be easier just to like grab a canister of water and stick it in as like a water cooler up here i could set up a water pipe but i think that's more labor intensive and boring all right so this is the top level sounds about right level 35 so 35 up was the answer i should have ran a prediction although i don't know how to run, run a prediction like that of like guess how many levels i'll have to go up like that's not a prediction that's a betting pool or something, I don't know. Oops. Might be easier if I just use propellant. I might actually keep the, like, ice look just because it seems more European. It seems more organic. It's also, like, a lot easier just to leave it. And it's like an elevator shaft built into the mountain. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. One thing I do need to do is to dig out the cabling in the back, though. So... If... Come on. God, just cooperate already. You lost your Yoda? He's right here, what do you mean? Oh, your Yoda emote? Well, with channel points, you can get the actual thing, which may just be better than the emotes. So the other thing that I'm going to need to run into is if I'm trying to vacuum, vacuum seal the tunnel, um, it'll be a little complicated to like, uh, to seal it because of the, the cabling corridor. Or column, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's claustrophobic in here. I'm not really sure why all the shafts need... I mean, I guess you have to have power to each section, but... It seems so labor intensive to have data and power on separate cables all the way up. It's just like cable installation simulator. And not for a reason I quite understand. Oops. How to get carpal tunnel in one easy step. Need more cables. You all probably thought I was crazy printing up as many as I did. But anyone that has played this game knows 
There's never enough cable coils until you put like a thousand grams of copper in the electronics printer and then forget you were printing them. And then you probably have enough. see some of the penthouse suggestions trickling in. If you have any more, let me know, because I'll be done with this elevator relatively quick. Not too much more work to be done here. I wonder how long the elevator ride is. That's the other thing is they're not exactly express elevators. They're more like freight elevators. And uh, could take a while to traverse this. I should put in a jacuzzi. If only that was a thing. It isn't. So, puppy treats. A little long overdue. Hey, buddy. Here you go, dude. Hey, if you're um if you're wondering when I'm gonna be streaming stuff. Oh look at that. The, oh there it goes. There you go. There's a command for that. Estimate for one way. Hmm. 35, so maybe a minute and 15 seconds would be my my estimate. Like two seconds per level, or something like that. We can Attempt to time it. How much further back does the ogre tunnel go? Uh, I can take a look. So, should... Should I pressurize... The... Tunnel... And elevator shaft. Yes. Um, to be breathable. Yes, but don't warm it up or no. Have you voted on that? There you go. Two and a half minutes. One simple question. So in order to be breathable, I would seal it and then I would um, probably with air vents pump additional oxygen into it and then with like this furnace I would heat it up and then I could remove the airlock here so that the base shares the same air as the tunnel. And that way, I wouldn't even need a suit to go up to the penthouse. If I pressurize it, but don't warm it up, it does make it stormproof, because when I was trying to build, a storm rolled in, and it made it very difficult to build anything. It could be up to you. It's going to take a lot of gas, though. Actually, it's not really going to take that much gas. Because, um... Because the atmosphere is pure oxygen. So even like 50 kPa or 40 kPa oxygen, pure oxygen at um, comfortable skin temperature levels is fine. I can have a lower pressure base. It's not that big of a deal, fortunately. Yeah, Europa has infinite oxygen. There is never a lack of that. All right, let's finish off the cabling and then we'll see what you guys think about the pressurization.
Xenozos and Liquid Cloud, thank you for the follows, by the way. Welcome to the stream. The Yoda stream that just happens to have me in it. Okay, breathable. Got it. I am up for that challenge. So step one... I'll update the goal in a second, but step one is to seal it off. Which means that the elevator has to terminate to something. So building some sort of cap to the elevator. Starting the penthouse, which is a weird way to say that I have to seal it off, but this will make sense once I start. Thank you for watching Stationers Europa, which originally streamed live on Twitch May 10th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind that the series has since ended, and I also played with Backseat Gaming Tags off. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, so you don't miss one. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video also have a link to Discord, a gaming community which we can stay in touch and you can ask me questions in real time. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell. <laughs>